Well, what is up, everybody? It is Life's Apprentice. I'm at the dump. The girls left a uh, dumpster here. And uh, I want to do a little talking about the dump trailer and the dumpster. This seems to be a big deal on YouTube. You can see this one. Shingles, they left it here. It's frozen in, which sucks. So I'm sure they'll be back to dump it again. But I uh, have my dump trailer and a dumpster. What... Uh, what is the big deal here? It seems like uh, this dump trailer thing gets a lot more attention on YouTube than uh, the, the roll-offs, which is confusing. Confusing to me. Um, I understand that the cost of entry is slightly less for the dump trailer. But, at the same time, at scale, the ease and mobility of the roll-off dumpster is just so much greater and just if people say that the dump trailer is more versatile I completely disagree um, and I guess I'm having a hard time understanding and uh, explaining it to everyone out there so I'm gonna go dump what I have and uh, do a little more talking about this look at all the frost and everything on these uh, trees this morning it's actually pretty cool very foggy all right, so I just dumped my dump trailer, um, and I'm actually looking into getting another, a new dump trailer. And the reason why, there's nothing wrong with this one. This one's completely fine. I've had this for uh, six or seven years. I bought it brand new for like 7,500 with the tarper kit. Um, and it's a 12,000 pound, um, six foot wide by ten foot dump trailer um, I have the wood sides on it I just have a, a two by ten um, on each side just in the thing I could build the sides much higher if I wanted to um, I've never calculated how many yards it is but I'm looking to get a bigger one and the the reason for that is when I bought this I didn't own the tractor that I have now and I transport the tractor in this dump trailer um, and I'd like to have one that's a little bit bigger. I'd like to have like a 12 or 14 footer. Um, it would also be nice to, uh, you know, just be able to fit a little bit more in it because it is relatively small um, as far as, uh, you know, even shingles and stuff like that. I fill it up with shingles regularly and uh, it gets kind of old. Some roofs I have to dump two or three times. So I'm looking at getting a new one. Now my question to you is, what should I do with this old one? Um, it's bought, it's paid for, I don't need the money to, I don't need to sell it. Um, from what I can understand, all the biggest views as far as videos go out there are about these stupid dump trailers and trailers. How I make 20K a month with a dump trailer and all this kind of stuff. Um, so what I'm considering is using this dump trailer through Greenhead or maybe starting a, a separate business and running dump trailers just for roofing. But going back to my first point, I want you guys to explain to me how is a dump trailer more versatile than a roll-off container or setup like we have? And people say, oh, you can haul mulch, you can haul gravel with it. Um, like I can't do that with a roll-off container. Um, we have hauled gravel and mulch with it um, for our own purposes. I don't hire it out, but I could if I wanted to. Um, I'm just trying to understand the logic behind uh, the versatility between this and the roll-off dump trailer. If you ask me, the roll-off dump trailer with the cans is more versatile because you can have more cans per trailer. Um, but maybe there's something I'm missing. So I'm considering renting this out um, mostly for roofing projects. Um, that way I know exactly the max amount of weight that somebody can put in um, because I've done it a million times with my, uh, with my roofing business. Um, and considering getting another dump trailer. Should I start a separate business or should I um, just run it through the Greenhead name? Um, I am not really sure what to do yet. Yes, I'm trying to understand um, everything from other people's point of view um, and learn something uh, from this. 
I'm new to the dumpster business. I did not start a dumpster business from scratch and trying to grow it rapidly and uh, make it extremely profitable. My end goal is to sell it in 10, 15, 20, whenever, however many years. Um, but ultimately my goal is to grow it and uh, have the business work for me, not work in the business. Um, now, as far as the dump trailer, let me know what you guys think. Should I start like a separate business? Because I know most of the people out there um, doing YouTube started their own dumpster business. They did not buy an existing dumpster business. Um, and I know that that differentiates me from them. Um, I've started many businesses and run many um, successful businesses, so I know how to do it. Um, but what would you guys like to see in, uh, in 2021? Should I get a couple of dump trailers and start from scratch? Um, and uh, a separate business and I guess show you how the dump trailers work and maybe I can even learn something from it because I'm having a hard time understanding um, I guess maybe other people's point of view um, when it comes to this matter I understand that the see and I don't even understand that the the people say that the dump trailer is easier to sell um, but if you're gonna start a business like this, why would you ever even want to sell it? Uh, I'm having a hard time understanding it. Um, so would you guys like to see me start start a new business? Maybe I should. Um, I don't really have any use for this thing other than keep it hanging around. Um, I talked to the girls about it. They don't really wanna deal with the dump trailer because then they're gonna be changing out hitches and um, they just want to stick with the roll-offs. They think what, uh, what I'm talking about is an absolutely stupid idea. And maybe it is. I don't know. But um, with this truck that I'm in right now, um, I'm completely capable of running any sort of trailers. Should I build sides on a 16-foot utility trailer and run that? Um, I guess I want to hear what you guys want to, want to see. Um, I'm interested in doing it this year for 2021. And uh, I think I might do it whether you guys want to or not. It's just a matter of uh, if I document it. My whole goal is to try to understand the market and uh, see if there's even a need for it. I know in my area, nobody does this with dump trailers. I know in a lot of other areas, a lot of people do. In my area, no one does this. Um, it's all roll-offs in this area. And uh, so maybe, maybe I could find a niche. The only people I see with... Uh, with trailers like this are junk removal guys and contractors that is that is it as far as resale value um, between the dump trailer and the roll-off trailer I really don't have any experience I believe the the dump trailer behind me I bought it for like 7800 brand new I think right now it's probably worth 45 to 500 or 4500 to 5000 used it's in it's in relatively good shape um, for how how long we've been using it um, and I don't have any experience selling the roll-off trailer or dumpsters, but I get requests on YouTube to buy my trailer and roll-offs all the time. Um, I also know that the old owner of this business, he had his first trailer and his first dumpster. Um, he actually sold, he put it up for sale and sold it in two days, um, for $22,000 for the trailer that had 200,000 miles on it and a container. So retail value, um, that is like 32,000. He sold it for 22 after he had made you know plenty of money off of it. So as far as reselling uh, my roll-off trailer and dumpster, I know that there would be no issues reselling it. So that's not a factor. Just want to, uh, just want to understand. I want to hear your guys' opinion out there, what I should do, and uh, I will do it. So if you like this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.